today I'm here to present SB 1341, uh, the California SOAR, as in S-O-A-R, Guaranteed Income Program. Approximately 270,000 students within California's K-12 school system are experiencing homelessness right, right now. Um, of that number, a, a number that has increased by over 48% in the past decade, about 15,000 are current high school seniors. School districts support these students by utilizing funds from the McKinney-Vento Act, a key federal legislative support for students experiencing homelessness. The act was intended to be a first step toward resolving homelessness. <clears throat> However, in the absence of legislation uh, continuing to further um, measures, uh, far-reaching measures, homelessness can only be expected to increase amongst this population. The law only applies to currently enrolled students, meaning a student experiencing homelessness will only receive support up until they graduate from high school. The lack of support available to youth experiencing homelessness post-graduation significantly hinders their ability to pursue their educational or career ambitions. While federal and state law provide extensive financial aid to youth experiencing homelessness who intend to enroll in college, that aid does not become available until the student begins attending college in the fall. As a result, many of these youth become subject to a phenomenon known as summer melt, a scenario in which the high school graduate is accepted into college, intends to enroll, but ultimately does not. This problem is common among low-income students who lack the financial resources to make the transition from high school to college in the fall. These students often become sticker shock when they learn uh, <clears throat> of the fees associated with attending college uh, and that they must be paid before th their financial aid kicks in, such as their summer orientation fee, housing deposit, parking pass, and so on. In recognition of the need to extend support to our most vulnerable students during the bridge between high school graduation and post-secondary education or employment, SB 1341 establishes a statewide guaranteed income program that will provide direct cash assistance on a monthly basis to these youth. The bill defines an, eligent, uh, an eligible participant, uh, first, as an individual who is enrolled in the 12th grade, secondly, who meets the definition of homelessness according to the McKinnell-Venti Act, and third, uh, who has completed a FAFSA or California Dream Act application as part of enrollment. The program will serve approximately 15,000 youth experiencing homelessness statewide beginning on April 1st, 2023 through August 1st, 2023. So five payments are contemplated. The bill directs the administrator con to conduct an evaluation of the program to learn how this form of support may assist youth experiencing homelessness in exiting the cycle of poverty. And I think that's uh, one of the most important things about the bill uh, is it is an opportunity to, to disrupt uh, the cycle of homelessness um, and regenerate um, at, this grade, at this age, at the 12th grade. Uh, the no strings attached guaranteed income model will empower these youth to use the funds as they see fit whether that be entering into the workforce ultimately or pursuing higher education. SB 1341 will equip youth experiencing homelessness with the financial resources to embark on a path towards stability and success. I'd like to thank the chair and the committee for working with me and my staff on this bill. I acknowledge that we do not yet have an administrator name for the program and commit to working with the chair uh, to determine who would be the best fit. Um, in past recent uh, investments by this legislature in um, uh, general, uh, in guaranteed income programs, uh, Department of Social Services was determined to be the right fit uh, in discussions we've had internally um, and with colleagues. We're not clear uh, that that's the best fit for this program, but there are options.